story told in Luke's Gospel in which Jesus is invited to the house of one of the religious leaders. And when he's at the house, a woman comes to the house who brings some ointment with her. And when she sees Jesus, she she starts crying and she takes this ointment and she bathes his feet with the tears and with the oil, kissing him and anointing him. And when the Pharisee saw this, he said, how can, how could Jesus do this? How could Jesus let this woman touch him? Isn't he supposed to be a prophet? That it's just against all our codes of conduct. Jesus says to the religious leader, there's a creditor who has two debtors. One owed a hundred denarii and the other 50. And they couldn't pay. He canceled the debt of both of them. Which one of them will love him more? And the religious leader, Simon says, the one who had the most debt forgiven. And Jesus turns to the woman and said, when I got here, you didn't wash my feet. You didn't take care of me. And yet from the moment this woman entered, her tears, her ointment, her kisses, she gave of herself and what she had. And even though her sins may be greater than yours, the forgiveness she gets is also greater. For those who have been forgiven a little, love little, and those who've been forgiven a lot, love a lot. And then he turned to the woman and said, your sins are forgiven. And of course, Simon again has a comment about this. And so he says to the woman, Jesus says to her, your faith has made you well, go in peace. So I want us to stop and, and as we pray today, think about those places where we need forgiveness. Places where we've been unkind to people. Places where we've been hurt and are unable to, to let it go. Places where the pain is so great. And I want you to picture Jesus saying to you, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. God, you come into those places of hurt and pain, the places where we have been wronged, and you bring wholeness, healing. You offer us in those places of pain, forgiveness, comfort, And you invite us to do the same to those who've hurt us. And so God, we lift up to you those places where we feel we have been wronged. We lift up to you those places where we have caused harm to another. And we invite you to bring your forgiveness onto us and onto those we've harmed. God, we ask you to show what it means for us to forgive a lot. 
to forgive greatly so that we may love greatly. Show us how we can be the woman who welcomes another. And Holy One, you know the places in our heart right now that are hurting. Pour your mercy and your love onto them. Be a balm to our wounds. And we ask you to be present also with those we love, to be in the places where they are troubled and hurt, lost and lonely. Come to them and bring that healing ointment, that love that comforts and welcomes and pardons them. Amen. <laughs>